Hi, this is Bonnie, and I am a design team member for the Lavinia World um, YouTube team. And today I wanted to show you something you can make featuring glitter. And because um, Lavinia World has gotten in a fantastic supply of glitter, and I had an idea that I wanted to share with you. Um, I'm also going to be showing you how to use some acrylic um, to put inside of a bottle. Let's see, um, I'm going to show you a little bit what it's going to look like, and then I'm going to show you the supplies. So, um, this is, if you can see that over the white, that looks a little bit better. That is a Lavinia stamp that I stamped onto acrylic, and this is a bottle that I put her inside of. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the supplies first. And um, first of all is the Lavinia stamp, and this Lavinia stamp is called Celeste and it's LAV 579 and then I also use the VersaFine Clear Nocturne this is one of my go-to for almost all of my projects and all these things are found in the Lavinia World Store and then some fabulous glitter and I have two um, types here because I've already made one and this is my I had a limited amount of glitter I'm gonna combine these two so I can make a second one for you to see what I did. Um, the other thing you will be needing is some clear embossing powder and I have the Nouveau from the store and it's the clear. And some other things that you're gonna just need from your own stash is a little bit of um, fishing net and some, this is just like white type of a string and you're going to need some black gesso and you're going to need some sort of Mod Podge or Decoupage um, glue. I think that's pretty much what you're going to need. Oh, you're also going to need some sand and I've got some sand and I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is make sure your bottle is completely clean and um, this is actually a Starbucks um, bottle that my uh, granddaughter loves this stuff, so um, she's been saving these for me. So, what I did very first thing off is I measured around the bottle that I'm going to use. You can use any bottle. And um, I measured um, around the bottle. And just like how you rip up paper to make an edge, I used masking tape. And I decided about how far down I needed to go based upon the image I'm using. And one of the things that are really great to use is that acrylic that they show you that they put the stamp on. It really gives you a great idea of where you want to put things um, when you stamp or anything else. So I can see about where I want to put my tape. And my tape is going to be going this way around. And I want this side of my bottle. So it's basically going to be like that. And it doesn't matter if it's a little bit curved because I want a wavy look. So I got mine a little bit longer than what I need to, and so then when I get to that point of matching up, I'm just gonna tear that. And again, this is just masking tape. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you make sure that that is put down fairly well, is you're gonna get a brush, and you're going to be using that your decoupage glue, whether that be um, Mod Podge or whatever you have. I think they were selling this one out at the store because the bristles from the um, brush that it came with fell out. But it works great. Oops. It works fabulous. So you just want to make sure you get enough on here. And you just, all you're going to do is paint. And you go over the tape and you want to make sure you get down over that little edge at the bottom. It kind of curves at the bottom. Just make sure you get enough on. And I just look to make sure I have my paper to um, when I go to put my glitter on so the paper can catch all my glitter. Seeing as I'm limited to what I have right now, I don't want to waste any of it. So because, like I said, I am limited to the blue, and the blue is what I really want to feature, I am probably going to use the silver first. And then I'm going to go ahead. But what I did for my original is I just totally used a blue. 
so you can do whatever you want. But don't waste too much time because this um, decoupage glue does dry quickly. But it works great. Now, um, there's going to be three layers. I'm going to be doing, um, well, actually, two layers of glitter and three layers of decoupage glue. So it's kind of like lasagna where you put three layers on. So that's my first layer of, oops, of decoupage. I'm going to get a piece of paper and I'm going to be opening up this. These are really cute little bottles that I got from Lavinia World. And you're just going to shake that on. And you can see this is beautiful, fine glitter. As far as that goes, if I end up in the end with more of the silver this time around, that's great for me. Because look at that. That's just gorgeous. It'll work for, it'll work even if I don't use the blue. I kind of like it. I see one little spot there that I missed. I'm going to quick add a little bit of glue to that. It's not going to really matter. There we go. Because I'm going to be doing layers. This is gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So that's what you're going to do for your first layer. And then what you do is you have to let this dry. And then... Um, what you do then is you come back one more time and you put another layer of decoupage glue on and then you sprinkle your glitter on one more time. And then at the very end, you just put decoupage um, glue on and then you let it set. So that's what you totally do for to get the glitter on here. And I'm gonna let that set. And I'm gonna move this aside. And then I wanted to show you how I prepare um, the uh, mermaid or she's not a mermaid, I'm sorry, she's just a fairy, how she's gonna um, go inside. I'm gonna set this to the side. And all I did was um, take care of this. I always try to pick up my little bit of my stuff I have in the way before I get started. So let me do that quickly. So I've already got her set up in here and I'm using the Misty. And the other thing that I'm using is just a plain piece of acrylic. This, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see that. This was a, um, a top to one of the stamps or something that I got, or dies. And um, I just saved the acrylic. And I know a lot of people wonder about stamping on acrylic. And um, it works great when you emboss it. So, um, and then you're gonna say, oh, how can you heat emboss acrylic? Well, actually that's what gave me kind of like the texture I really wanted. So before I get going, I need to cut this little bit of edge off. I forgot to do that. It has to lay flat inside of the Misty or the stamp will not stamp. So there we go. I've got this little piece on here that's just fuzzy. All right, so I'm gonna bring that down to the corner best I can. Or maybe I'm gonna see how that fits on there. Yep, I'm gonna slide her over just a little bit. Slide the plastic over the acrylic and then she'll fit on there great. So I am going to be using the VersaFine Clear Nocturne, and I will stamp it twice. And then once I do that, I immediately put um, clear embossing powder on it. And um, one of the things about acrylic, when you stamp on it, the um, clear embossing powder will adhere a little bit to the um, plastic and I'm okay with that because it gave a really kind of cool look. It made it look a little bit more um, like it was glass. Um, so that was kind of cool. It gave it more of a, because I'm trying to do more of a um, um, water type look, I was really happy with how it turned out. So usually as you know it doesn't stamp really great on acrylic. Um, and you can see what I'm saying. There's a little bit missing there. And it's gonna kind of look that way for this. Um, but when I put, like I said, the embossing on it, it'll be fine. I know a lot of people cover it up with um, permanent marker or whatever. And you could really in the back if you want to. I found that it really didn't make a difference. 
And even though I've got, if I have a little bit of this black on the side, it's okay because I actually trim around her when I um, get done. And again, because I'm stamping on acrylic, it stays wet. It would smear right off. So I, I know all that, so that's okay. But this is such a beautiful stamp. I love, love, love the detail. Okay, so that's how she's gonna look. And then the next thing I wanna do, I need to get my brush out of here a little bit, but we'll see what I can do. Is all I'm gonna do is, is very simply emboss and put the embossing powder on her. And I have a piece of paper for that. It looks like I have a messy piece of paper, but that's all right. It's gonna be okay, because it's not gonna come off. All right, so I'm gonna be pouring on this um, clear embossing powder, the Nouveau. And you're gonna see how it kind of like sticks even on the acrylic. Again, it's probably, you know, you'd think, oh, static electricity, but I really ended up liking it. I want it actually to be on. So, I'm gonna kind of dump it over to the side so it doesn't really get all into the, the blue. And you'll see what I mean when I go to um, emboss this, how I want to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to go to, um, to another um, part of my workstation. So I'm gonna stop this for a second and then we're gonna get set back up. And so now I'm just gonna let her set just for a tad. It doesn't take very long for her to cool off. So I'm just going to do this really simply first, just so you can see. But I want you to leave a little bit of a tab at the top. And the reason for that is I put a little bit of wire at the top and then I let it hang out of the bottle. And then I, um, so I'm going to leave that little tab right there coming up, which is why you need to make sure you have enough plastic up here at the top. So I'm making a little tab because then I'm going to put some wire at the top and actually I'll tie it and make a little circle in it, a hole punch, and then um, I'll put wire through it and put the wire so that it goes around the outside of the bottle and I'll show you that later. But this part was important. You needed to know to leave a little tab when you go to cut her out. Now I want to show you, cut those pieces out. You can kind of see, I'm see if you can see close up. Can you see how it kind of looks like I don't know how to explain it to you. It's kind of like a ripple. Um, so that extra embossing powder on the outside, instead of wiping it off, it gives you that little bit of a ripple. So I'm gonna show you, see I'm rubbing all over her and she's not coming off. So it's just kind of an exciting thing and then she'll fit inside of the bottle. So you can use any, of, um, any stamp and do that with it. Just be careful when you're going to heat, um, how you're heating it, just you know, pay attention to it. But I'm going to hole punch this at the top and it will fit inside of the bottle. So let's see if I can actually put one more um, layer on that bottle a minute and, and let it dry. Let's see if it's ready. It's a little bit, I think I can, I think it's a little bit dry. So let's go ahead and put one more layer just so you can see. And then um, I'm probably going to add, see what happens if I add the blue. I have not done that before. And I'm going to move this. I think it shows up better while I go ahead and do this. So I'm just adding more decoupage glue. I'm sealing it. And you will notice that your brush will get a little bit of glitter on it. So um, you do a second layer to make it thick. And um, I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up. Okay, so this is dried a second time. And I'm going to go ahead and put the last coat on it. And this time I am not adding any um, extra glitter to it at all. This is just gonna be the final sealing coat. And I am gonna go ahead and 
again put that all the way around and you can see how thick it looks so the other thing I wanted to show you is the cap um, what I did was I painted the um, I painted this um, the black gesso and you can still slightly see the image I could do another coat but I'm going to go ahead and use this this is um, a, a wax that I used in another video and um, it's always amazing to me because it's a white wax but when it goes on black gesso it turns turquoise and that even if you can kind of see that image, it's not going to matter because I'm putting a shell on the top and a little bit of the, um, I'll be putting a little bit of the fishing net. I don't know if you can see that on there, how it changes out. If I would have made it a little bit darker, um, you could have even seen it pop a little bit more. And then I'm just going to set this to, you know, aside and while the other one is drying, and they'll both be fine. This doesn't really take too much, it's a wax. But anyway, so that will be setting aside. And then I wanted to show you one last thing really quickly while this thing's drying, then I'll come back and, sh and share with you the rest of how I put it together. So um, let's see if I can get that in there. I probably can't. But anyway, I hole punched. There's a little teeny tiny hole punch. And there, you can see it now. And um, I use this really fine wire that I have in my stash. I cut a small piece. It's probably about, let's see, maybe about mm, five inches long and all I do is I string it through that hole and then I uh, kind of like fold it in half it's a very very fine wire so it's very bendy and you can kind of see if, see if you can see that when I'm doing it I'm just going to twist it the end of it and that's going to hold it on my intention originally was I was going to string this in the center I had put a um, brad in this and I was going to string it to that but it turns out it doesn't hang the way I want to so um, what did, the brad was not needed but you keep that in mind if you ever want to hang something from inside of a bottle you can do a brad and hang something from inside the brad so but in this case all I did is I put this piece of wire on and then I will slide this down into the bottle and I will bend this over the lip and then screw the lid on and it stays fine so that's just what I wanted to show you, and I'll be back to show you once this dries how I put the rest of it together. All right, now for the fun part. Um, it's still um, drying. You can see a little bit of the white, um, but it's still drying. But it is okay for me to go ahead and start pulling because I did that for the last one I did. Um, I'm going to go ahead so you can see this. You can see how it's kind of, um, I don't know how to explain it, kind of sticking a little bit to the... Can you see what I'm saying? It's okay because I want that rough edge anyway. You can see how that's coming off. And you can see um, actually um, the silver is a little bit underneath like I did that two layers. Okay, so then what I did for my last one because it's kind of you know sticking up is I just pushed it down. And um, surprisingly it just, it adheres and it works fine. So that's how I did the glitter part. Then the next part is um, I just pour some sand in and I want enough of the sand so that you can see it above this line. I want it up above just a little bit. All right, I did get some down below. But anyway, so now you can kind of see how that's, you can kind of see it in there. I can always add more if I want to later anyway. So the next thing I did is I wanted to have a shell in there. So I have to make sure that the shell will fit through the opening up there. And I just kind of drop it down in. And that's how it went in. And I just go with that and I push it over using my um, pencil and eraser. And then I have one other one that's about this big. It's a little bit longer, but it won't fit in this way across, but it will fit in once it gets in there and it'll lay down at the bottom. I'll just get that to go. Let me get that up a little bit. This is a fussy part. 
to get it to be where you want it. Take your time, do it the way you want it. But I want it to look a little bit like a beach. So that was that part. And then now for the fun part of putting her inside. Um, she, again, it's just plastic. And I curve her, I, you know, just not really roll her, but I just curve her slightly and I let her drop. And I've got the wire at the end, as you can see. And I just put her where I want her to be. And I have to look at her kind of. I want to see how I want her to go in there. If I want her to. And I actually, usually the first time I put her in, I should just let her be because it's usually the way I end up liking her instead of being fussy with her. So then I take this wire and I put it over the edge of that lip. See how I do that? Just over the edge of the lip. And then I take the lid and I just turn that lid on top of that wire and it stays on. It's not a problem. You can line it up a little bit better. And that's what that's what she looks like in there. I might open it back up and fussy with be more fussy with that. Um, but I wanted you to show what else it is I did. And I've got my glue gun turned on. And what I do is I get some of this. Um, you can buy this at the craft store. Um, I think I probably got mine at Michael's. And I just cut a piece of it off. It's a big, huge chunk. And I've used it many, you know, a lot for my crafts. So this is one of the pieces. And basically I wanted to make it so it came up here at the top so it would cover up that um, brad. And I'll glue, I'll glue that there. And then I lift it up and I look at it and I pull a little piece around usually to the side and I glue it at the side here. And then I put a shell there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that so you can see kind of like what I do. And I'm gonna glue it down here. Now I'm gonna glue it above my glitter because um, I think I don't think that that's a great idea to put the hot glue on top of that glitter because it's Mod Podge. But I'm also gonna be very careful because this is hot. Um, and because it's hot, I don't want it to um, break my glass. All right. So once that's <clears throat> all attached, I have set aside some of my shells that I'm gonna go ahead and, and put those on. So take your time. I'm, like I said, I'm not, um, I'm trying to do it a little bit faster so that you can see how that looks. The other thing I did really quickly is I had this string. It's kind of like, um, it's like a twine-ish, um, white twine. And I just tied that around this side. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece off. And I just wanna remind you as I'm doing this about subscribing below so that you'll be able to watch our videos every week. We have a video Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, the design team has something different every day. And if you could sign, subscribe, you will, um, you might get a notification. I think you will get a notification to let you know when there's a new video up. And we'd appreciate you subscribing. And then um, also um, down below, I will have the links um, to the products that I used from Lavinia, Lavinia World and um, trying to think what else to tell you um so anyway this is like what she looks like in the end let's see if we can see this sideways i think i want to put the white paper behind me a minute and see if that shows up a little bit better for you that looks a little bit better if i can get it out of the light so you can see what she looks like so she uh, the other thing that would be really pretty is if you could put led lights inside of there um, she could light up at night and be a, kind of a pretty thing um, I'm probably gonna do a little bit of fixing like I think I'm gonna fix the shell over here at the side once I I get done and, um, I'm gonna go again go ahead and show you the first one that I did um, and that's what she looks like so now we have two and this glitter just makes it really um, set off the bottom it's really really pretty um, you could do this like I said to any this is just recycling the Starbucks jars so and they look really pretty. So 
I, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out um, this new video and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you come back again. Thanks so much.